nothing but nuggets. Yeah, see, I'm telling you, man. Pay from nothing to something. Now we're giving you game. Dropping nothing but nuggets. This podcast is sponsored by Easy Skip Tracing. Go to www.easyskiptracing.com for some of the most quality data in the marketplace. In fact, Easy Skip Tracing believes in good quality data so much that they're willing to provide you the leads as long as you skip trace the list with the company. Listen, text 1K leads to 44222 and get a thousand free leads. This podcast is sponsored by This podcast is sponsored by the REI Levo. The REI Levo is a real world podio workspace solution designed by real estate professionals for real estate professionals. Check it out at the REILevo.com. Welcome to the Nothing But Nuggets podcast. Let me take that off. Woo! Good God Almighty. Uh, today I'm riding solo. Um, we're going to be doing an episode basically teaching you guys how to set up, you know, your systems and how to hire and what to look for in hiring uh, virtual assistants, as well as how to um, determine what softwares you may need. Today I decided to take the show to make it about you guys. I would love for you to drop your questions, especially if you're out there looking on YouTube. Um, drop your questions and do me a favor and share the broadcast. If you're watching on Facebook, drop your questions and do me a favor and share the broadcast. Today, I'm going to be answering as much questions as possible, but I figure I'll come at you guys with some high-level stuff to teach you how to hire people, whether or not you're hiring virtual assistants, you're hiring American employees. These are some of the things that was taught to me in order to find some of the best times. I want to teach you uh, how to kill the toxic. Uh, toxicity out of the operation. Sorry about that. A little tongue tied. Uh, I'm going to be teaching you how to take the uh, bad people out to operation, and I'm going to be teaching you how to scale gradually. Um, I really want to show people that because it's not as hard. People make it seem hard because you know there's an agenda in mind. So, welcome to the show. Uh, to I'm, I'm rolling so low, like I said. Let's get started. So the first thing I want to teach you guys is hiring. You know, when you hire people. There are so many things that you need to look for. And one of the uh, main things that we look for when hiring people is we want to look for two sets of skills. We want to look at hard skills and soft skills. You get what I mean? What are hard skills? Hard skills are teachable, measurable, and abilities such as writing, reading, math, or ability to use computers. Soft skills are traits that make uh, you a good employee, such as etiquette, communication, listening, and getting along with other people. There needs to be a perfect combination and a perfect blend of these particular skills in order to create the right employee inside of the right environment. Um, what are some hard skills, right? Uh, computer handling. Maybe they know how to work in computer. Maybe they know how to code. Maybe they know how to work uh, Excel. Maybe they know how to work Microsoft Word. Um, you know, maybe they have some type of degree or certification and whatever. Maybe they have a degree in HR management. Maybe they have a bachelor's degree in business management. Uh, that's a hard skill. What are soft skills? Some type of communication skills. Uh, maybe they are natural born leaders. They they have particular uh, leadership skills that's hard to teach, right? Um, they are they have a team spirit. They don't mind not being selfish and sacrificing their so for the good faith of your team and operation. Uh, and then they are very effective with time management. Um, them some things that cannot, in my opinion, be teach uh, how to be effective with uh, time management. That being said, um, when you hire a VA, the first thing you should do or hire an employee, you should create a detailed job description, guys. That's one of the most important things. You need to write out your systems and your processes and, um, and literally make it detailed as possible. So if you're looking to hire a cold caller, what is the responsibility of a cold caller? What are some expectations you want to set with that cold caller? And what are some things that the cold caller should be looking forward to with FOSS learning? Just because you hire a person, you know, their learning experience start right then and there. So when we hire people, we come at them with so much uh, more further education than what they already came into our operation with because we want to mold that employee to be the best employee 
uh, possible. Um, that being said, don't don't be in a rush to hire people. You know what I mean? Like some people might tell you, "Hey, hire fast uh, and uh, and fire fast." But my opinion is, hire slow and fire fast. And here's why: when you hire slowly, uh, your team your team members uh, are having a, a chance to work with each other in a way that oh God, we got somebody here this week. Oh man, this person gone last week. You want to be able to give them a chance to create that chemistry. So many people. And this and this goes back to virtual assistants. So many people find their VAs before they even get started in the process of understanding your operation. There's so many different systems. A VA can be working excellent and one person's system may maybe leave that system and come to the next person with the same exact skills and traits and struggle. Why? Because there are different ways of doing things. There are different systems. There are different programs. There are different uh, softwares. There are different ways that uh, business owners manage their business. So it's going to take them some time to adjust. So the rule number one is when you hire, you should always hire with at least six months to 12 months in mind and nurturing and growing that employee. If your employee can make it through month 12 with you, uh, my friend, you have a solid employee and literally... um you can go to the moon and back with that person. Some people think that their employees that they hire are dumb. And here's my argument against that. They are not dumb. You're just not effective. You're not an entrepreneur. You're not a leader. You're just a person that might be throwing money at the wall and, and you're being exposed right now. And why are you being exposed? Because you don't know what you're doing. And so many people are in this business where they don't actually know what they're doing. And that's the main reason why we created V1 training to teach people how to be an effective leader, to train them, and to show them uh, just uh, a few things. Listen, in the comments, right if you just started, are, are you just getting started? What are some things you hope to accomplish? I want you guys to get a notepad out and get a, a piece of paper and write down some things. Here's some things you should want to accomplish. In the next 90 days, you should write out your five year plan for your business. In the next 90 days, you should have all your processes written out. You should have all your future departments written out. Even if you're a one-man show, everything should be categorized in apartments. I give you an example. Let's keep it simple. Wholesaling, uh, you're going to need a marketing department, which means uh, people who's going to be doing your marketing. So what falls on the marketing? Outbound marketing, inbound marketing. What's an outbound marketer? Typically, cold callers, um, direct mail pieces, things of that sort. Inbound marketing, PPC, um, um, Facebook ads, billboards, television ads, things of that sort. So you want to kind of, there goes your marketing department, right? And then secondly, you want to create your sales department. What is What compromises your sales department? Uh, your acquisition people, um, your disposition people. The amount of people, the acquisition people are going to be the people that's literally talking to motivated sellers motivated sellers guys they're going to be talking to motivated sellers right there on the phone and trying to convince them or trying to work a deal out with them where they sign a contract exclusively with your real estate company then once that acquisition person get that contract locked up for the preferred price that the uh the um the company would like it to be that's when uh your disposition manager and in fact guys we're doing a disposition class starting the first week of August is $2.99 for four weeks. The cheapest thing out there, but it's full of content. Your disposition manager come take the asset that you currently have on the contract, do a full evaluation, assess it, put together a marketing package, and send it out to uh, your list, send it out to your VIP buyers, and just work with other wholesalers on, on a case by case situation. Then uh, you have what we call um, an accounting department. And that accounting department might just be you outsourcing your QuickBooks or something to someone else. But you need all of these departments. And eventually, as you scale and get bigger, you're going to need some upper management. So all of your hit department heads should all come together and uh, be what we call the leadership committee, your leadership board. And that's when everybody meets every week and discuss what's going on on the end of the department to uh, create some goals. Uh, moving along. Uh, Moving along, you want to start looking at systems. If you're brand new, just starting out, you need multiple systems. I don't give a shit what your favorite uh, person done told you or your favorite influencer told you. 
You cannot run a business without effective systems. There's nobody in the world that I can think of that runs a Fortune 500 company, that runs a company that's on the U.S. stock exchange, that runs an effective business that makes multiple millions of dollars a year, doesn't have systems. It just don't work that way. You can start out without systems, but we call it winging it, and eventually you're going to burn yourself out. What you need is effective systems. And these systems can just be created with an Excel spreadsheet, a Microsoft Word document. There's a bunch of different free documents you can find online. It doesn't mean you have to go out and pay for a, a, a $5,000 a month audio software or $2,000 a month uh, product. It just means you need to have everything organized and structured, you know, whether that's a spreadsheet showing you um, how many uh, hot leads you have, whether that's a spreadsheet showing you how many calls was made, whether that's a spreadsheet showing you how many deals you currently have in escrow. All this stuff needs to be individualized and separated into a G Drive folder so that way you can be better organized. Um, remember the easiest way if you're starting out, you don't have much money, get your Google account. And once you get your Google account, you have a G Drive folder and you have the power to use the uh, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, what, what Google Word or Google Excel, whatever they call it. It's the same thing. Um, you can create a beautiful templates, color coordinated, and you can set up different flows inside your business. Um, that's the m number one most important thing about systems. Now, if you're new starting out and you want to do outbound marketing, my suggestion is you look into two things, cold calling and SMS. How do you cold call? Uh, you can uh, hire a virtual assistant. That's to me, that's the most cost effective way. Pay somebody for an hour to do that task, or you can do it yourself. Some people are gonna tell you to do it yourself because it sounds very, uh, very brave and, and sexy. Give me one second. You can do it yourself, guys. And here, and here's the thing, you can do it yourself, but is your time worth four dollars an hour? That's something you must ask yourself. And I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not doing it. And here's why, I can be doing something else in the business to make the business more uh, effective. Um, once you get your cold caller, the cold caller is going to need to be able to effectively do their job. And the only way they're going to be effectively able to do their job is that they need systems. Once again, we're going back to systems. Um, <laughs> the only way they can effectively do their job is systems. And here's how they can uh, do systems. Use a power dollar, guys. Write this down. A power dollar is going to be able to contact multiple people at the same exact time. I prefer call tools, and here's why I prefer call tools, even though I was using Mojo. Call tools gives you the ability to check in on your VAs. It gives you a robust report, and it gives the VAs ability to transfer calls to you in real time. So I like the idea of that. Um, what else are you going to need? You got call tools. Uh, let me see. Can I get out my little spider web? I'm working on something. You're going to need call tools. You're going to need to set up a marketing plan, guys. Um, some of this stuff is going to be in my two-day mastermind, but I don't mind sharing it because it's not that deep stuff, but it's good enough for you. You're going to need a marketing strategy. What type of list are you going to call? What type of zip codes are you going to be focusing on? You don't want to be the person who new starting out who just pulled the entire county and don't know who the fuck you're talking to. You want to build what we call a seller profile. Every company has what they call a client profile, a customer profile, a, a target profile, a target customer. And what that means is, what is your ideal seller looks like? What what does that mean? Um, and, and wholesaling, I can tell you right now, just without even looking at it, it's an older person who's over the age of 50, who has a not too perfect credit score, less than 550, who has a compressed um, fixed income. In most markets, a fixed income is anything less than $35,000 a year, right? If you can get all of that inside of your profile and then add other lists, such as pain point lists, pre foreclosures, uh, equities, things of that sort, you, my friend, have an effective marketing campaign. Um, and before you pick up any phone, you should have all this stuff in place. And then you just create a follow-up sequence. So let me uh, show you guys something real quick. I'm going to share my screen just to show you what I'm working on, a sneak peek. It ain't done yet, but I definitely wanted to kind of show you um, something. Oh, give me one second. So as you see, 
the first thing you need to do is you need to pick your city and state. When you first start off in real estate investor, look at your city, look at the state. Sometimes your city might not be big enough to support a cold call and a bunch of numbers, so maybe you have to put pick sub cities outside of that city. Um, then you use something, uh, a tool to figure out what is the best zip codes. My brother Max Maxwell got a a, a, a video on YouTube about it. Um, I got a bunch of videos on YouTube on how to pick the zip codes. And then you start building your cold lead list. That's not what nobody's teaching. What is a cold lead list? It's basically different lists that's cold, but you're not even certain that they're even interested in selling. But you'll add certain filters in there to ensure that they may be interested in selling, but there's no guarantee that they're interested in selling. Then you organize the zip codes and lists by the particular cities, right? And then you set up your call flow. Set up your call flow, and then you set up your marketing rotation. And we're going to be talking way more about that. This is a, a sample when I'm working on for the uh, for the mastermind. We're going to be talking way more about that on um, August 8th and 9th. If you're interested in hopping on the show real quick, maybe you're struggling. Maybe you're going through some things. I strongly invite you to hop on. I'm going to drop the links in the comment. First come, first serve. I'm only going to take three people today because I'm running on a limited schedule. Uh, I just drop the stream lot stream yard link, click the stream yard link, and it automatically bring you in the broadcast and uh I accept you and whatever you're struggling with, I try my best to provide uh, ultimate value. When is the mastermind? The mastermind is August 8th and 9th. It's virtually it's for two days. You got me for two days. Right now, tickets are $97. Um, and they're going up to $197 Friday. So I encourage you to get your tickets before Friday, because after Friday, the tickets will go to $197. Let me make sure nobody dropped no questions. Chris, what's up, brother? I'm ready to see you at the Mastermind. It's going to be an amazing event. Let me uh let this guest in real quick. Give me one second. What's up, my brother? How you doing? Good, good. How are you? Good. Good. I'm watching you. My son's taking a nap. Well, that's awesome. How can I help you? Uh, I've, I've, I just started with my uh, VA um, uh, maybe two weeks ago, um, and then I'm struggling with the with the with the with the with the system, with the systems on the zip codes. Um, but with the systems, uh, I we tried the call tools. We still have an account with call tools, but you know every time we put in the numbers, it's kind of like. Um, after we skip, 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 press the numbers, it kind of like, um, it, it kind of takes all the numbers. I don't know if they're bad numbers or what, but it takes all the numbers. And also, um, we, we got a zip code and then we, we got some, um, we got some properties of a, a pop ring, but when we tried to call, we didn't even get one. All the numbers were wrong. Um, so, so what skip person are you using? Uh, we use uh, REI skip and we use um, um, and Mojo. We did Mojo skipping. Mojo skip okay. first. T typically, it's, it's probably the location. You know what I mean? The, yeah. the, the, the skip tracing service is usually solid. It's typically the, the leads, the type of leads you're putting in the system. You have to be real granular with the leads, and you have to make sure that you're talking to people at least 50 years old. And here's why. When you're talking to people that's 50 years old on the phone, them type of people don't change their phone numbers as much. So the skip tracing company usually have a, a good, accurate number for them. So I would definitely try to uh, look at that really quick, and then I would definitely look at my script and how I'm talking to the people. Because, you, you know, you can call somebody and they might tell you wrong number because you sound like a telemarketer. But if your script is a little more effective where you're saying, hey, Jay, what's up? How you doing today? You can't yeah. you can't tell me wrong number because I acknowledge I know you. So even two things, you know that I'm bluffing. I know I don't know you or you just yeah. want to straight lie to me and say you got the wrong number. 
So uh, I think you got to look at your script and look at the way that you're delivering the script to uh, the clients okay. that you go follow. Okay, it's actually my VA that's doing the call call, or the VA that I signed up for, for the flat rate. Yeah, yeah. so, you know, your VAs, they always go through training. Um, if you feel yeah. that your VAs are struggling, because yeah. everybody's not going to be perfect, right? Um, yeah, definitely uh, uh, yeah. reach out to my onboarding team, and we can uh, set up times to get them some extra reps on the phone. Okay, I'll reach out to Janice. Okay, thank you, man. I just want to say thank you for for all the content that you, you put in. You know, we're learning a lot. Man, I, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for uh for the believing us and allowing us to help you with all of your outsourcing needs. Awesome. Thank you. No problem. Talk to you later. What's up, my brother? What's up, Antoine? How you doing, my brother? Good. How you doing? I'm good, man. I'm local to the area, man. I'm from D.C., down in the Waldorf area. Um, I'm very familiar with that area. Say again? I sound familiar with Waldorf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I grew up in Southeast D.C., but I live down here. So I was on your most recent live uh, graduation with your VAs, and uh, I happened to got I got in contact with Darlene, and she gave me some info on the uh, training for, I guess there's a training to train how to manage your VAs. Mm -hmm. And uh, she gave me the, the, the information about that. Now, that's something that you can sign up for at any time, right? That's not Yeah, so lie. she's probably referring to VA Mastery. So that's our exclusive training that uh, most people go through to be able to train their uh, self in order to manage and train the VAs. Um, the one beautiful thing about VA Mastery is if you actually look past the content that was in the VA Mastery, it's more so like a membership. It's like a membership to a country club. So you get exclusive access to re more robust training, more hands-on training, more fresh content, as well as we put a warranty on your VA. So if you have any issues with your VAs, um, we guarantee a replacement of them. Um, we can do further evaluations. We can do further training. So we have a, a, a really proven, robust uh, product when it comes to the V1 training uh, company. Okay. Yeah, my wife and I, we're, we're, we're going to go ahead and sign up for that because we are, we're we going to go ahead and, and try to get a couple of the VAs to, to help us with our cold calling. Now, uh, you mentioned after this Friday, your August 8th and 9th is going to go up to 197, correct? Yes, 197. And that that training is, and I noticed um, you had a flow chart. That flow chart is helpful for developing your marketing plan, you said, your strategy? Exactly. So that's just a snippet of it because I'm still working on a bunch of flow charts. Well, we're going to be going down and really deep to show you how to set up cold list call rotation because that's what some people get confused at. Hey, I pull a list and no one's saying yes. Well, you got to be able to build a cold list and then understanding the, uh, the, the, the theory behind building a cold list. Just because you pull a pre-foreclosure, that doesn't necessarily mean a person wants to sell a house. So um, it's a, it's the science behind it. So those two days, Antoine. So how does it work? I, it's live. Is it like all day? Is it several hours compact? Um, yeah. So we're going straight through. So it's from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, both days. Um, you got me teaching. It's full of content. Uh, it's going to be recorded, so you can always watch the replay if you missed a few um, okay. parts of it. So definitely. Uh, for last year. Uh, we did this event for two thousand dollars, and the reason why we decided to make it one ninety seven because we wanted to afford everyone an opportunity to come. Um, and as well, uh, you know, we haven't we pushing out a big event drip to the fall time, so it would have been in the way of doing the drip. So we wanted to do it early, so that way we could focus on drip. Okay, cool, cool. And um, to sign up for that uh, by this Friday, is there a link? It's definitely a link. If you text V one Mastermind to four four two two two, it's right there. Flow at the bottom of your screen. Uh, uh, it should send you something, and you can uh, pay for it right then and there. Okay, excellent. Well, I'll reach back out to Darlene. Maybe she, she's already. Yeah, reach out to her. She'll help you. She's really good with helping okay. people. Okay, but talk to you later. Bro. No problem. Talk to you, babe. All right. So listen, guys, you have to really focus on uh, uh, creating a company, on um, building company culture. Let's talk about building company culture. Um, you know, sh showing up every day, being responsive. If you're working with remote employees, you have to be accessible all the times of the day. Here's some tips that you can be accessible. If you're working a, a job where you're not allowed to actually be on your phone, maybe set um, a messenger up on your desktop, a Facebook messenger, 
maybe set up a uh, Skype on your desktop or on your phone and just check, you know, um, through that. So that way you won't be actually on the phone. But to a VA, at least uh, for the first six months, they're going to need your undivided attention because there's a lot of stuff that they don't have the answers to that they're going to literally need in real time. So if they stuck on something and they trying to reach out to you and you say, oh, my work. I ain't going to do that. I'm at work. You should know what you're doing. Guess what? That problem is still going to be there until you get off of work because they don't know. They, they they can't troubleshoot everything. And if, you know, and that's the that's the thing that I see with people struggling with. They're thinking once they sign up for a virtual assistant, their problems go away. Literally, your problems are just getting started. Building company culture, being respectful, talking to your team in a way that you would want somebody to talk to your own mama. Being respectful, being courtesy, showing empathy to your team, being understanding. You don't have to be some type of dictator talking about, well, my VA is this, my VA is that, my VA. Listen, they will run away and quit on you quicker than you can say hachu. Because that uh, that's how many clients out there that's looking for VAs. It's not just little old you that's paying them money and they think that they're going to stay and submit to your fuckery and your bullshit. That's not the case. You get what I'm saying? There are plenty of opportunities for these VAs to go sign with other people that's going to give them a better opportunity, that's going to take a good care of them. So be respectful, build a company culture, acknowledge their birthdays, right? Give them shout outs when they're doing well. Small wins, small wins, small wins. Small wins equals big wins. You know what I'm saying? It's all compounding. Your small wins are going to compound to something big. So even if they didn't get your contract this week, even if they didn't get you 50 appointments this week, even if they just showed up on time and they talk to 100 people acknowledge that at first. It's going to make them feel happy. It's going to make them feel comfortable. And it's going to make them know that you like them and you respect them as a human being. Right? You got to start making people feel like human beings. These VAs are not robot guys. Um, what else I want to talk about? Company culture. Attendance, guys. Let's talk about attendance real quick. There are some things that you should be doing. I value you. I'll write this down. You should be creating some type of point system. Um, that's very important. Um, create some type of point system where you can hold your teammates accountable. You should have some type of rules for calling out. What is the policy from calling out? A VA can't just call you five minutes before shift. Hey, my stomach hurt. Can't come in. There should be some policies before calling out. And if they don't call off maybe an hour, two hours before they shift properly, then you should implement some points. And when they get to a certain amount of points, they should be suspended. When they get to the maximum points, it should be terminated. No questions asked. And what that does is it's accountability measurement to show them that, hey, I am protracting your performance, whether you realize it or not. You see what I'm saying? Just pop in and check on them. Hey, I'm just checking on you. How you doing? Don't ever go a whole eight-hour shift and then say, um, you know, don't check on them. Pop in on them. Check your hub staff. If you're not using hub staff, you're stealing money from your own self. Check your hub staff to ensure that the VAs are doing Thing that you ask them to do. Be very specific in assignments you give them. Be take notes. If you excuse me, if you don't feel like taking notes, just send them a voice clip on Facebook Messenger. Send them a voice clip on Skype, and say, "Hey, today this is what I need you to do. This is what I want you to do. Do you understand?" Um, or you can send them a detailed email if you can't be by the phone. So you know there isn't any excuse. It all falls back to you. Um, you know, companies like myself, we can do the recruitment part for you. We can help you with the VAs. But it's going to take for you, the operator, to really step up to build that culture. We can't build a culture for you. We can't, no matter what anybody out here promises you when it comes to VAs, the number one thing no one could promise you is to build a, a culture within your own four walls, your own operation. That's nearly impossible. Guys, if you want to come on the show, click the link. I'm going to drop the link again in the comments. Click the link. Click the link and I try my best to ask. I'm gonna answer any questions that you may have. Let me go back and check my um. So. You know, we are now in July. Um, it's, we passed the halfway point, point of the year. We're in the third quarter. You guys should really be looking at your leads that you produce at the beginning of the year and follow up with everybody. Um, you know, there's the foreclosure rates are on the rise. 
but them leaves might not even be ready yet. So them leaves are probably marinating. And then maybe October, you go back to them leaves and then you hit them again. But, you know, you definitely should be consistent with your marketing. You should be rotating your list. You should be rotating your leads. Um, and you should just be fresh on the phones. And another thing, if you're starting a campaign, a cold calling campaign, you should grab at least five to seven phone numbers and rotate them numbers. So, you know, out of every three, 400 calls, your VA should stop dialing and add a new phone number on the call ID. Uh, so that way the phone, the delivery rate can stay high. And um, your VAs have a chance to get good, motivated set of leads and pass them on to your acquisition. I, I say someone making stats up, they saying that, hey, cold call is dead, blah, 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 blah. Let me tell you something. Everything always ends on the phone. The power of the telephone will never go anywhere. You know what I mean? Cold calling, it might have inefficiencies in certain points, but I think it's more so the operator's fault because they're not providing their team with more robust scripts, more robust rebuttals and more of uh, training, hands-on training where uh, they are involved in what we call situational, situational awareness where a seller asks this and they don't have an answer for that. But, you know, if the seller asks this, you know, the number one way you can build your own proprietary rebuttals and that you can be on top of your cold calling is to go back and listen to your tapes with your VAs and listen to like the 20 most common objections the seller gave the VAs and then write out thoroughly the standard uh, policy or the standard response to that and give that to the VA and then ha maybe have something like a Saturday program where your VAs can go over this new redefined script to really be comfortable with it and to understand exactly what they're doing. Teach your team uh, things about American culture. There's nothing wrong with teaching them uh, about American culture. The number one thing your team should be doing when they first log in is to go to Google and type in a city that they'll be cold calling and say news for Cleveland, Ohio. News for for uh Vermont, uh, you know, um news for let me see. Let me go over here. Stop screen share. Um, let me show you something real quick. Oh, look. So when your VA should be logged in, so I'm in uh, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. News for Harrisburg. And what happens is you're going to start seeing stuff. You're going to see stories. And you, they can go to these websites and they can see exactly what's going on. You can check the weather. You can just get some commonality. And um, if if you and here's a nugget that uh that's going to be in some of my new content. If you decided that hey um, if you decided that if you decided that hey um, I want to send this as, as a daily report. You can make it yourself where you can go and grab the forecast and then what's going on in the news and what's going on for the week and the holidays or anything, and then send that out on a weekly basis or a daily basis and, and put that a part of your daily briefing. You know what I'm saying? That's something that we're working on as an operation, creating a daily briefing where um, literally your VAs uh, understand understand what's going on in the local news. Because guess what? If they're calling from uh, – uh, of the Philippines, and it's 85 degrees out there, and your market is Denver, Colorado, and it's negative 20, and it's snow outside. When a seller, you know, if a seller say, man, it sure got a lot of snow this week, if there isn't no report building right there, it's going to be hard to really make that conversation stick because they're clueless. They don't know what's going on. But if they know, you know, hey, man, we got another 20 inches coming Wednesday, they can say, well, you know, at least, at least, at least, things ain't as bad as when Wednesday come around. I heard it's gonna be around twenty inches coming, so it creates it creates that ability to create some commonality with the sellers, to to massage them, to relax them to the point that eventually they're going to be talking to you and giving you a whole bunch of information. So I signed up with Constant Contact. Uh, oh, you mentioned they're looking to give you some credit. Appreciate you. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Appreciate you, Robert. Yeah, so Robert, if you're just getting started, man, SMS is definitely a, a really 
um, um, trying uh, easier way to go because you're able to talk to multiple people at the same exact time. I'm not saying use that to avoid cold calling, but it's going to start giving you more leads quickly than cold calling. SMS gives you hands down at least 70% more of the leads than what you get from cold calling. Now, the beautiful thing, I, I like to stick to cold calling as well as SMS because it gives you that consistency, right? You want to build a business based on consistency, guys. You don't want to be hacked this month and then nothing pops up next month. The whole objective to building this business is to be able to create a predictable business where you are forecasting and knowing exactly what next month may look like based on the efforts you made from the previous month and, and whatever game plans that you're making this month to get past what you made for the previous month. So you have to start building a pipeline. You have to start getting hot leads in your system. You have to start having your acquisition people on the phone. If even that's yourself, having these conversations a day, if you're acting position manager you should be talking to at least 40 people a day on the phone doing follow-ups is your uh, uh acquisition associates aka a cold caller you definitely should be talking to at least at least 500 people a day uh via a, a power dollar you know what i mean if you're a disposition person you should be reaching out to at least 30 to 40 um cash buyers on investors to build a, prof uh, a profile to see exactly what their criteria so by the time you get something on the contract in a particular market um, you won't be struggling to dispo that deal. What's up, Matt? How you doing, brother? Appreciate you, man. Hope all is well. You know what I mean? Thank you so much for joining today's live. Um, I hope all is well. Like I said, guys, if you want to hop on the show before we get ready to go, I'm about to, I'm about to wrap it up in the next five minutes. Click on the link, the stream y'all link right there. It brings you right into the broadcast, and I add you on to the show. That way we can get whatever questions you need answered. Answer. So, like I said, if you just started with your VA, here are some things that you can do to ensure that your VA is set up for success. Rule number one. Create a group chat. Create some type of open communication where they can talk to you in real time. Rule number two, set a list of expectations. Rule number three, uh, uh, make sure you have a lot of patience. Rule number four, build out all your processes and making sure that the VAs are actually using your processes. And rule number five, don't be a dickhead. Be a nice, understanding, patient operator. You know, like you said, operator, because whether you like it or not, you are owner slash operator. You are actually operating your business. You're not hiring a third-party management company. The manager business is solely you, so you are an operator. So start looking at yourself mentally as an operator, and I promise you, your business will go to heights that you never can imagine. What's up, JC? How you doing? Appreciate you. You got the same initials as my sister. Her name is Jasmine Campbell. So, man, thank you. I try my best to be transparent, to drop knowledge, and give as much value as possible. Um, if you think this live is great, definitely uh sign up for the two day mastermind. Uh, it's ninety seven dollars up until Friday. Then it goes up to one ninety seven. So if you were smart, you would save nearly fifty percent on what the actual ticket cost is. All right, that's my lovely wife texting me. If we hire our first VA for acquisition and we want to cold call and SMS, should we split their half their day on each or would it uh, mess up consistency? Acquisitions is a position that, uh, to my opinion, acquisitions is a position that they just need to dedicate and focus on. Because there's going to be so many moving parts. There's going to be people they got to follow up on, contracts they're looking to get, putting out problems, uh, talking to people, um, talking to the title company, putting deals in escrow. I honestly say uh, I honestly say that uh, you should just let that VA just be an acquisition person because you don't want to mess up their flow. 
and just get a part time VA. Four dollars an hour with part time is like ninety, hundred dollars a week. Excuse me. Get a part time VA to come in and do your, uh, you know, your cold calling, your SMS, five hours a day, hundred dollars a week. You can't beat it. All right, guys, it takes some more. So, uh, JC says she wants the acquisition manager course. No, I want the VA master course for sure definitely get the va mastery like i said the va mastery is bigger than just the videos that it comes with in fact the va mastery um is we, we're scheduled to do an update soon we just been adding more and more videos to it and you'll have access to the va mastery recharge and basically that's so it's, it's it's so much high level stuff you're going to add the only way to get the va mastery recharge is to to buy the first va mastery uh go through the course get your uh certificate showing you completed Get your get on board with an actual VA and uh, meet all them qualifications, and you'll be eligible for the free uh, update for VA Mastery Recharge. Uh, how much do your acquisitions? How much do you acquisition managers without being so? I'm not understanding. Oh, pay. I see the correction. So our acquisition managers make a base pay uh, between four and five thousand hours, depends on their experience, and uh, we pay them a bonus structure that's very incentivized. That literally they can make their entire uh, month salary with just locking up with two deals a month. So um, that's how we do it here in America. You can do American acquisition managers, but you know working with Americans and trying to motivate them for commission only. Don't make sense. And then try to pay somebody three thousand dollars a month and then pay them commission don't make sense because they're gonna do just enough to get that three thousand dollars a month without being fired. So I feel I figured, you know, if I had a VA, um, you know, it would help me a whole lot better, especially when all my stuff is virtual. Appreciate you, man. Uh I appreciate you uh, for tuning in. I think you tune in all the time, man. Appreciate the support. Thank you so much. If you want to come on, just come on in. If not, I'm going to go ahead and Gray, wrap it up. Making sure I didn't miss no questions. There's a lot of questions coming in here. I just want to make sure I didn't miss any questions. But look, here's a few tips to stay motivated and to stay disciplined. Know that the process is not an overnight process. Know that there, there might be a six to eight month delay before seeing a profit. Know that you might have to go to multiple people. Know that people may stab you in the back. But at the end of the day, when you reach the end of the tunnel, it's all going to be worth it because you have something that you can honestly say you built yourself and it's solely for you so appreciate you guys if you don't have any more questions you know where to find me get the two-day event if you're thinking about signing up for va mastery definitely sign up for va mastery uh text uh get the va today to 44222 uh and we'll take good care of you if you want to join our acquisition manager program text acquisition 101 to 44222 uh, we have a bunch of uh products that's there to take 
taking care of you and to satisfy you and your uh, real estate career. Especially to all my new people, we try our best to take care of you so you won't feel like you've been abused and used by all these different people out here. Um, you want to make it a one-stop shop where you can come and get everything taken care of under one roof. That's our ultimate goal. So uh, catch you guys later, man. Appreciate you. Until the next time, i see you later, man. Appreciate all of you. Telling you, man, came from nothing to something. Now we're giving you game, dropping nothing but nuggets. This podcast is sponsored by Easy Skip Tracing. Go to www.easyskiptracing.com for some of the most quality data in the marketplace. In fact, Easy Skip Tracing believes in good quality data so much that they're willing to provide you the leads as long as you skip trace the list with the company. Listen, text 1K leads to 44222 and get a thousand free leads as long as you purchase the skip tracing with Easy Skip. This podcast is sponsored by the REI Levo. The REI Levo is a real world podio workspace solution designed by real estate professionals for real estate professionals. Check it out at the REILEVO.com.